Chapter Two of Australian Legendary Tales Folklore. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Australian Legendary Tales Folklore by Mrs. K. Langlow Parker. Chapter Two The Galah and Ula the Lizard. Ula the lizard was tired of lying in the sun, doing nothing, so he said, I will go and play. He took his boomerangs out, and began to practice throwing them. While he was doing so, a galah came up, and stood near watching the boomerangs come flying back. For the kind of boomerangs Ula was throwing were the babaras. They are smaller than others, and more curved, and when they are properly thrown, they return to the thrower, which other boomerangs do not. Ula was proud of having the gay galah to watch his skill. In his pride he gave the bubara an extra twist, and threw it with all his might. Whiz! Whizzing through the air, back it came, hitting, as it passed her, the galah on the top of her head, taking both feathers and skin clean off. The galah set up a hideous, cawing, croaking shriek, and flew about, stopping every few minutes to knock her head on the ground like a mad bird. Ula was so frightened when he saw what he had done, and noticed that the blood was flowing from the galah's head, that he glided away to hide under a binday bush. But the galah saw him. She never stopped the hideous noise she was making for a minute but, still shrieking, followed Ula. When she reached the binday bush, she rushed at Ula, seized him with her beak, rolled him on the bush until every binday had made a hole in his skin. Then she rubbed his skin with her own bleeding head. Now then, said she, you, Ula, shall carry bindays on you always, and the stain of my blood. And you, said Ula, as he hissed with pain from the tingling of the prickles. She'll be a bald-headed bird as long as I am a red prickly lizard. So to this day, underneath the galah's crest, you can always find the bald patch which the babara of Ula first made, and in the country of the galahs are lizards, coloured reddish-brown, and covered with spikes like binday prickles. End of Chapter 2